Hey guys, it's Laura. So in this video, I just really need to show you guys the overlook that I have for the day. So you could call it a uh, face of the day and plus another update. As you notice, I colored my hair. So last week, I colored my hair with this, the L'Oreal Theria in um, Violet Soft Black. And after a week of washing, obviously, I have me... I have to wash my hair every day otherwise it gets gross and oily and itchy. Other people have like really really um, dry hair and they could get away with not washing their hair for like days. But yeah, everybody's different, right? Um, but for me, like I have to wash my hair every day and I wasn't pleased when all of the red pigments was just washing off and then my hair ended up looking like... Um, red so I'm just like oh uh, this is not the look that I'm going for so whatever I'm just gonna go for like a darker color I don't know what's up with me it's summer and yet I'm in this like dark hair streak um so this is my first time trying this one this type of brand and color type came out years ago um, and it's the Garnier Nutris Intense Color Cream. I mean, I've tried um, other Garnier products like the Garnier Bell Color or like um, Garnier Nutris. And um, this is my first time trying the um, Nutris Intense. And the color that I have is blue black. So I'm like, whatever, I'll just try this out. And it did come out as a true blue black. On the instructions, it did say that you have to leave it on for half an hour, but I left my on for like an hour. And then I think I just got distracted with looking up stuff online, and then I probably left it on for an hour and a half. But I'm still glad that I did, just to make sure. But I did a few mistakes, like there's a part here that still has some brown in it. And so the same on this side, but at least it's not on top and I can still get away and like hide it. So I find that this color just makes me, um, it makes my skin stand out a bit more and makes my skin look lighter and I like it so far. So on to the makeup. Um, I got inspired by Emma Stone. This was like again months ago. You guys must have seen her picture one of her pictures in the Spider-Man premiere in France and um, she's got like this whole gothic um, look but I think her makeup is much more simpler than what I ended up doing so um, let's start with the skin so I always you know like wash my face prior to like doing my makeup and then I always moisturize so while my face is still wet I use the MAC strobe cream so it is a moisturizer and like an illuminator with like chock full of antioxidants green tea and vitamins in here so I'm really really happy with this um, MAC strobe cream and I have it in the travel size and it's like I think $18 Canadian which is cheaper than like the bigger one obviously and then um, I wait for my face to like dry and then once it's dry I spritz my face with the uh, Victoria's Secret face prime it's a primer and a setting spray so I use I spray my face before and right after I have everything on and then yeah so I'm always wearing my contacts every day I cannot see very well without my contacts these are the Neo Lucky Clover Gray from iCandies.com so if you haven't watched my video on my review on these circle lenses please watch it in short like you know I absolutely love them I wear them every day and then um, speaking of primers I also prime my eyelashes and my eyelids for lashes I use the MAC prep and prime and then for my lids um, the NARS eyeshadow primer the only eyeshadow primer that they have but I hacked my tube in half because I wasn't getting any product out and the only way was to cut it in half and put it in like a little sample jar like this so I have that on both of the lids and then um, I did this trick where I did put a little bit of my NARS orgasm illuminator in my brush and dipped it into this MAC MSF mineralized skin finish and <laughs> I've been seeing MAC mineralized skin finishes over and over again and they always come out in like almost every collection that they come up with but 
I was in a Mac store like a few days ago and the girl who was working there put this on me and I absolutely love it. It's like a ton of like bright neon micro shimmer in there which is really really nice and a unique concept and it's like a pinky brown and champagne color all mixed up so basically an msf depending on the color that you have you can use it as a highlighter as a blush even as an eyeshadow um some of them could be like really dark you could get away with it as like a nice shimmery bronzer so yeah they do come off shimmery but like really really nice as you can see i have it on as a blush and an illuminator at the same time and i have it on as an eyeshadow so um, mixing this with any of your powder products will make um, that product like metallic looking and the color more intense so if you for example have like an eyeshadow that doesn't come off really pigmented you can mix it with a little bit of um, illuminator it doesn't have to be NARS or whatever just any sort of like liquid illuminator that you have and it will make the eyeshadow look more intense metallic and wet looking as well so i have that all over the lids right now and on the crease i blended it with mac star violet i've had this for quite a while i never really talk about it but it's like this i don't know maroon burgundy shade and then um on the crease I thought something was missing. I need to put something dark on the outer V. So this is my Giorgio Armani Eyes to Kill in number 2. So basically, it's like a... I don't know. Like a gel sort of like powder. It's a really, really soft, luxurious feeling packed in powder in here. With black and a ton of like black uh red shimmers in there which is absolutely gorgeous i have it on the outer v and on the lower lash line as well and then um i on my lash line i have on this um black gel eyeliner and this is the maybelline new york eye studio in charcoal so if you don't want to spend your money on like max you know like black fluid line or any other high-end brands like the only one that I really want in this form is the Shoei Moore one because if you put it on your um, tight line, it does not come off. But that's like, I think like $30 or something. But this one was only like 6 or $7 from like Walmart. And the thing with this is that it does not come off very easily. So this is what happens. Like I let put on my eyeliner and then I proceed with um, my face because I want to let it really dry and set so when i go in and curl my eyelashes this is by shoe Mura. i go as close as i can obviously at the root at the very root of your eyelash and press it like this i hate it when my eyeliner transfers into the uh, eyelash curler and you're left with like gaps you know and you can see your skin exposed and you have to gotta go back in and fill that gap and just like you're wasting even more product but this one i don't even have to go back and put more product like i absolutely love this so if you guys are in a budget and you want high quality um really pigmented like gel eyeliner i highly suggest the uh Maybelline New York Eye Studio Gel Liner. And then, obviously, for mascara, I've been using my Lancome Hypnose Waterproof. Absolutely love this on the upper and the lower lash line. does not come off very easily. But I use the Lancome Eye Makeup Remover, the tiny one that I had from one of my shopping trips. And, you know, it's one of those samples that they give you. So that one is really good for removing waterproof eyeliner. For my brows, even though I've already changed my hair color because I just did it last night. So um, I have, I'm still using the Rimmel number no. 2 Hazel. So it doesn't matter if my hair is red, if my hair is brown. You guys have seen my me change my hair like a ton, many, many times <laughs> ever since I started making videos. And so far, I think for the past two years, this is the only one that I've been using on my eyebrows. Um, if I have really, really light hair, obviously I'm going to go and bleach my brows and put this on and it makes it come out like looking red. And then now my brows are black, which is my natural hair color. So 
I just use this and it comes out like a dark, dark, dark brown. I just have to be like really heavy handed here and then lighter as I go up to the, up to my nose, you know, where the direction of my nose is. <laughs> um, yeah, but guys, just like be honest and let me know if I should change my um, eye pencil color. And if you have any suggestions, I'd be grateful. Please leave them down below as well. So moving on to the face. New foundation, people. Okay, so I ran out of my Estee Lauder Double Wear. And I'm just itching to go and buy a new one. That's like really nice as well. It has to be long-lasting, looking really nice. I don't want it to look cakey and, you know, I don't want it to look like way too luminous I want it to look like satin natural and so a lot of people were raving about this the Lancome Tint Idol Ultra 24 hour who wears makeup for 24 hours I don't think so I, I think like nobody but um I am in the shade um I forgot which shade I am I think it's buff there you go buff 230 warm because I'm warm skin tone and I have yellow undertones so um it cut the, the packaging is like to die for like super nice and it's got like this gunmetal cap and it has a pump people and it is so sanitary <laughs> compared to um the Estee Lauder double wear but so far I think they are about the same when it comes to performance for me but the only thing with this is yeah the packaging and it's more expensive I paid like maybe $60 for this and 60 or 65 and then the Estee Lauder has like like $45 so like maybe 10 to $15 more and the thing with this is that it has SPF 15 which is great you know it, um, it's summer and I'm taking the bus and you know I'm more exposed to like outside now and um, one fluid out it contains one fluid ounce of product so it just looks big but it only contains one fluid ounce of product just like any other foundations that I've seen so far in the market but overall, I love this and I apply it with, ah, sorry, with the Real Techniques brush by, um, what's her name, Sam, one of the Pixie Woo sisters and it comes in a set and I bought it from a Walmart and I absolutely love this brush. And the coverage of this, by the way, the combination of these the coverage of this foundation is like medium to full and I only have on, I swear, one pump for my face and my neck. So I usually focus on my cheeks and my nose and around my mouth because that's where most of the redness is. And then I blend a little bit on my forehead right here on my cheeks and whatever is left over, I put it on my neck. And you can apply more depending on how much you want what coverage you want but so far it looks really really nice the only thing with this that I notice is that once my oil starts to produce it makes the foundation look slightly darker but once I blot it with like a facial tissue um, my skin looks much better I don't know why that is maybe it's part of the oxidation process but then once I tap like a tissue on my face blotting it it looks really nice and luminous and even though I've worked like an 8 to 10 hour shift, go out with my friends, eat, watch a movie, by the end of the movie, we always go to the bathroom to, you know, do your business and like, you know, you go and wash your hands and you look at yourself in the mirror and honestly, it looks really, really nice. Um, so far, I've only had this for like 2-3 days, I have no idea what it looks like. Um, in pictures but I've heard somebody say on makeupalley.com that um, it looks super beautiful in person which I agree but it gives you like a sort of like white stark like a white cast on pictures because of the SPF content of this foundation so like I don't know yet yeah anyways um yeah so I already told you guys that I have the MAC mineralized skin finish on my cheeks I didn't say the name yet. Oh my god, I forgot. And it's called Lust and it's limited edition. So if you guys haven't gotten it, if you guys still didn't get your hands on this and you want to, you don't really need it because they come up with so many 
different colors and they all kind of look the same, you know, every time they come out. Um, but if you want this and you could and you really, really want it, um, go to your Mac store and ask for a last mineralized skin finish. Last. I'm lusting for lush. Uh, lust. <laughs> so, yeah, so yeah, you go walk in there and be like, hi, I am lusting for last mineralized skin finish. May I please purchase one? And, oh yeah. So anyways, um, Yesterday, I went to Sephora and I posted a picture of this. Um, I bought a new bronzer and it's super tiny. But it's a great way to try out products that are completely new to you. And you don't want to spend like so much money on the full size. So this is the Too Faced Chocolate Soleil Bronzer. They also have the Milk Chocolate. But I am. it's really not as popular. Like the hype is not, you know as much compared to this one and it looks like way too light for me and I know I'm like already NC25 um, right now but like a lot of people were still raving on this and it's a completely matte bronzer and it smells like chocolate and you know if you guys have boyfriends or husbands and you put this on they're gonna smell it and they're gonna love your face and they're gonna wanna hug you and kiss you more and you know chocolate the ingestion of chocolate releases uh, pheromones and, you know, even by the smell of chocolate, if you guys love chocolate, it just makes you happy and it gives you like this euphoric sensation. So, yeah, when I was first, today was like my first time applying this, to be honest, and um, yeah, I really, really enjoy like playing with it and using it and it comes with a flat bookie brush and it's so cute, but I just keep it here. Um, I don't want to use it yet, and this is, sorry, this is what it looks like right there. So cute, right? <laughs> yeah, and then, um, as a setting powder, I've been ignoring this, and I still have it. I don't know exactly how long I've had this, maybe like a year and a half or two years now. And this is the Chorus Mineral, blah, 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 mineral Setting Powder. Blah, blah. I sound like one of those minions from Despicable Me. Oh my god, if you guys haven't seen Despicable Me 2, you need to watch it before you die. It's one of those movies that you have to watch before you die. And I do this thing like, oh, when, you know, from the first Despicable Me, when they were playing with the water dispenser, and every time you dispense the water, the air comes up and it's like bubbles and like, starts to come up and it makes like this oh, 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 sound and then the minions were like laughing and um they were just having fun playing with the water bubble thingy and yeah when i'm at work sometimes that's how i talk to people too so <laughs> like an alien <laughs> and um oh how i apply this is with my guerlain sorry <sighs> i get distracted you guys i have like add and like it doesn't take a lot to amuse me so when i see something i'm like oh ah! You know, I stopped dead on my tracks and I'm like, wow, that makes me so happy. Um, yeah, so if you guys are curious, um, wondering, like, which brush I use for all of this, honestly, this girl land brush. This is what I use for this. This is what I use for this. And this is what I use for this. So, it's one of those brushes that I absolutely love. Like, it's, like, not too dense. But it's just like, and it's not too soft. Because the problem with brushes that are too soft is that they're going to pick up way too much product for you. So you're wasting so much product and it's going to go powdery and it's going to be like mess all over. And so yeah, I absolutely love this brush. You need this. And what else can I show you guys? Um, On my waterline, well, I find out my eyes are kind of like reddish a little bit. I slept like too much. How can too much sleep be so bad? No. Yeah, it does give me a little bit of a headache. Gives you makes you feel nauseous sometimes. Um, but for me, like I felt like my eyes were a little bit red, so I needed to put like a highlighter on my lower waterline. So I used the Stila Smudge Crayon and Waterproof Eye Primer Shadow and Liner in one in Kitten. And it's like a light champagne color, which is really nice. I have a little bit right here as well. And what I do is before I apply this on my waterline, I just take a cute tip and run that little baby on my lower lash line to like dry it and then put this on top. Because like, 
you don't want to put this on like really moist you know wet like surface so okay whatever sorry I saw my brother coming back and I'm like what's going on um yeah so anyways that's what I have on right now and then last but not least on my lips I'm like I have like this dramatic red eye going on I don't know what to do exactly on my lips how do I do this do I do like mac ruby woo do i do like a nars one of my like favorite nars lipsticks or whatever so i thought hey why don't i use my new chanel lip gloss and this is in um crushed cherry i think and this is how it comes off like full-on freshly applied so it looks like this really dark maroon burgundy color like i don't mind it coming off like this you know exactly as the tube I actually didn't mind this. It gives you like this really juicy, like nice, um, berry colored lip. I absolutely love it. And the thing with this is um, it doesn't have any shimmer or like glitter like some of their glossomers do. Actually, all of them have shimmer and glitter or some kind. But if you're the type of person who wants to try this out but absolutely hates the shimmer and the glitter then um i highly suggest you purchase this before it sells out i believe this certain color is limited edition and everything else is like in a permanent line so yeah that's it you guys and i spoke too much and um i hope you guys are having a good good monday and i hope you guys yeah i enjoyed this video even though i rambled and i got distracted and i talked too much I really do I talk too much and yeah if you guys haven't subscribed yet what are you doing please subscribe right now and if you want to follow me on uh, Facebook if you want to talk to me there or here please do so Instagram and Twitter I really don't go on Twitter um, but I, you can tell once you add me like I spend a lot of time taking pictures on Instagram so you guys are more than welcome to do so and get add me there i think instagram is so much fun you know um it's so much fun as reading if you're really not as fond of reading like one of my friends is <laughs> she doesn't like reading she likes comics <laughs> um yeah so lots of like great pictures there and um yeah i hope you guys enjoyed <laughs> why don't i just stop talking already okay bye